when I was in sixth grade, I went on a trip with my teacher and my class where we stayed in a cabin in the Redwoods um, in California, which is where I'm from. And we learned about nature and learned about science out there in the forest. And I stood up on the bus ride home and announced to my sixth grade teacher, Mrs. Gidland, that when I grew up, I was going to work there. And I didn't actually end up ever working at that environmental ed facility but I did work in environmental education, um, residential environmental education for about eight years in California before I moved into the classroom. Um, my move into the classroom was not necessarily predicated on wanting to go inside, but I had grown tired of saying goodbye to my environmental education students every week, and I wanted to have a longer relationship with students, and I wanted to work with kids and get to see them grow um, over a long period of time. Um, and CC with the block plan clearly redefines the educational model of a college. And so I thought that their masters in teaching might give me the opportunity to look at different ways of, um, of building a classroom model. And in my masters in teaching, I got the chance to do an internship in an environmental education facility and I got the chance to visit different models of charter and private schools um, and see the ways that classroom teaching could look different than what I grew up with. And, and it helped me develop who I am as a teacher. I teach at Utah International and our students are all English language learners. Um, a, a large portion of them, uh, I don't even know what percent, 70, 80, maybe 90% maybe of them are refugees. Um, coming from areas of conflict around the world. I'm the only 7th and 8th grade science teacher at an international school in the whole country. And so there, there's definitely no map. I get to make it, which is one of the things that I love about my job. I love getting to um, create and direct and make everything from scratch and it's hard, <laughs> but I love making it from scratch and, and seeing what does and does not work with the kids. So this year I took 43 kids from, oh, I think it was 16 different countries uh, on a camping trip in Southern Utah uh, with the Four Corners School of Outdoor Education. We were there for three nights, four days. Um, we camped in near Bluff, Utah and went for day hikes in Bears Ears National Monument, and the kids got the chance to see what we'd learned about in science class, our geology and rock formation and geologic history, and they got to see ecology, our uh, interconnectedness of the ecosystem that we'd studied here in class um, out there in the desert. And it, you know, I, I, I started that program. Um, I raised all the money, <laughs> which was the hardest part. Uh, and I, you know, directed and planned it from start to finish and got my students prepared for it in the classroom and it was amazing.